welcome back to my channel so happy to see you here welcome welcome if you're new here my name is Natalia I am a holistic voice teacher and also a classical crossover singer and today I am very excited because I'm gonna answer one of my viewers question and she emailed me I'm not gonna say her name not gonna say where she's from but she emailed me several questions and I decided, you know, your questions are so good and so valid and I'm sure so many people are dealing with the same problem. Why not share this? And uh, hopefully some of you will get value out of it. I know that I dealt with it and I'm sure a lot of artists are dealing with this and dealt with it. So here it goes. So the question is, when I tend to listen to my performance via video, it sounds that I'm really not as good regarding of what everyone telling me okay so i was wondering if singers tend to hear their voices differently than other watching so this is the question so basically she's asking i feel when i listen to myself back i don't sound as good as other people tell me is that really something in my head or is really that so and the simple answer is yes we are, that's, that's one of the singer's greatest, I, I would say gift and also our um, kind of like our pet peeves just because we cannot really hear ourselves authentically knowing exactly how our voice sound when we produce a sound, right? Because it's already out there. We cannot, it's already kind of, if you produce a sound, it's already too late if you start listening to it because you can't really, um, recreate the sound while you are speaking or you're singing it's already out there but it's always about creating the sensations and having a good voice teacher that will listen to you and you trust their opinion enough for you to have them listening to you and connecting to those emotions and really connect the two together so you remember not only muscle memory but also in, in your emotional state how is that feel where is that feel it's not one size fit all it's a really individual work where you need to connect more to your body to your mindset to emotional state to really see what really truly works okay so always remember it's not a about them it's about how you feel about your singing and if you're not happy with how you feel and how you're singing make sure that you're not too harsh on yourself because we tend to be a little too hard on yourself and we're putting ourselves down and it's just like kind of taking away the, the joy and the beauty of singing right we want to be gentle enough to ourselves and be our best friends or our biggest fans but also always understand that it's a progress and we're always getting better and this is the beauty of good singing that you're always going to get better no matter how old you are no matter what the circumstances are for me i can't even hear myself five years ago my students like oh my god i improved so much within like two weeks i can't even hear myself two weeks ago but you have to understand it's a journey it's a process and we always developing and always getting better so more i want you to uh focus on the feeling of how it feels when you sing good remember that really have a good teacher that it's it's kind of like hard when so many people around you and everybody has their own opinion but when you have a good voice teacher that you really trust and also you trust yourself and you create this beautiful understanding and and kind of um a dance between okay this is this is kind of the technical aspect and this is how you feel it in your body this is what um the type of feeling you feel when you sing in, in your best and to hide those together and then you're powerful also it's important to point out the fact that when you go back okay and you listen to yourself but you really go into that place where you were singing when you're performing were you trying to impress or you're trying to express and it's completely different state of mind and your voice will act accordingly because our our bodies and our voices are extension of how we feel right so if you're coming to this audience and you're trying to impress them 
guess what? Your body started to tie it up, your larynx, everything started to, uh, your jaw start to be a little more uh, tight. Everything's get tighter and you're now letting yourself uh, the permission to express fully and be who you are. And this is the whole point of singing is enjoying it and expressing yourself and your uniqueness, right? So it really is, for me, was a game changer in terms of listening to myself, not more, not just more compassionately, but also reminding myself that this is a journey and I'm always gonna sound better and this is a good sign, you're gonna always sound better, but also remember that when I didn't sound good, what happened there? I was sad, I was not feeling it, I was out of it, what really happened in terms of my mental state, my emotional state, maybe physically I wasn't there, and really understand where it's coming from, okay? It could be just a bad day, or it could be really going a little deeper where we're trying to impress. And that's always something that's gonna put us in a bad position. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have more questions like this, I would love to answer them. Uh, please make sure to email me to contact at nataliamusic.online. It's right there in the description bar below. And if you're singers, please consider to be part of my vocal challenge. It's completely free. So go to my website, nataliamusic.online, and you're gonna insert your name and your email, and voila, you have a brand new free vocal challenge for the next seven days and yes guys so with that i'm gonna leave you thank you guys so much for watching i love you and have a beautiful rest of your day